Hey everyone, it's Francis Xavier, logging on to make awesome videos one at a time, and here with me is Ziavania. Hello! This will be an interesting experiment to be sure, my very first Pokemon Nuzlocke of Fire Red version. This should be fun. This game has been passed around a bit through me and my sister, Tamari. You see, she had the file last. She, she just reset that thing multiple times so she could get so she could start with of all things a shiny charmander and it straight up took her only 42 times wow that's yeah. ridiculous I, I will i will never wow so that's going to be that that's going to be a little in joke not not just for hitchhiker's guide to galaxy fans but also cuz you know I mean, I know how to do all this stuff. Let's just... Let's just get on with it. There's going to be a few rules to this Nuzlocke. I mean, obviously, there's going to be the whole nickname everything. If it faints, it dies. and Francis has uh, chosen, instead of releasing his Pokemon when they die, he's going to put them in a dead box. Yeah. Are you a boy or are you a girl? I don't know, you tell me, stupid. Can't even remember the name of his own grandson. What are we gonna name the grandson? <laughs> well, I've already decided. So, like I said, I'm gonna put release Pokemon in a dead box, only catch the first Pokemon in any given area, but I'm also gonna be establishing the dupes clause. You know, if... if I run into a new area, and it's a, and the, my first encounter is a duplicate of what I already have. Then I'm gonna wait until the next first encounter. Also, the shiny claws because it is ridiculous to pass up a shiny because you've already had an encounter. Absolutely, and also the legendary claws as well. Yes, that typically usually only applies to like the roaming legendaries, but still. Well, I guess it could also apply to Cerulean Cave, huh? Oh yes, and also, uh, this, yeah, also not Victory Road, but uh, m like one of the Sevi Islands where I think that's where Moltres is because he's not in Victory Road. I think so. Because Articuno's at the Seafoam Islands, mm -hmm. Zapdos is at the Power Plant, and Moltres is I think on one of the Sevi Islands. I'll, uh, I'll look it up while you're going through and... And I know, and I already know what I'm going to name this guy. Yeah. Kyle was an old childhood friend of mine. I may have mentioned how I used to play uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 on his N64 way, way back when. Scoozy. Uh, Moltres is on Mount Ember on one island. I knew it. Mount Ember, that's right. Well, let's get this, let's get this adventure underway. Remember, your Nuzlocke technically does not start until you receive Pokeballs. Oh, hold on a second. I knew I forgot something. I forgot to unmute the TV. Whoops. Hey. But this is the Julia Child nature. No remakes, no redos, just oh natural. But yeah, the um, game audio is muted because it didn't want it overlapping. Yeah. You can technically grind a bit without having to worry about your encounter before you get the Pokeballs. So um, keep that in mind. Your, your encounter before you get Pokeballs does not matter. Alright, that's Squirtle. I always pick the water starters. I typically go... Yeah, I typically go grass. Although I don't think I've ever had a girl Squirtle before. That's pretty good. Most, most of my starters are usually male. The only exceptions are like... Uh, Alola, and, and, uh, 
Galar when I picked Sobble and Poplio. For some reason, you don't, obviously, you don't have to take my name suggestions, but for some reason when I look at the Squirtle, all I can think of is Celia as a name. Hmm. I want to go with my first instinct, but I don't think it's a... And it's a darn shame because I was going to name Poplio Shadow after my first dog. Mm. But since it was a girl, I decided to name her Maria. <laughs> I'm so... Ha, uh, shout out the hedgehog show. I'm so terrible. Hmm. Sarah the Squirtle? Or more like... I know what to do. To... At the risk of cheesing off a certain number of people. What? Hmm. Oh. What? what? I was gonna name it Vera de Milo after the fifth Ninja Turtle from Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation. You could do, uh, with no spaces. Capital D, or rather lowercase d, and then, mm -hmm. uh, the... Mm. But now I'm starting to think... Maybe just... Maybe just Vera. Okay. Because it'll be like, uh... Uh, what's his name? The main character from Firefly. It's the name of his gun. I've never seen Firefly. And he is, and Vera here has water gun. I call her Vera. Like it's it's the same trope of anybody who has like a. They have a special weapon that they want to name, or a car or whatever. Like the one Fresh Prince of Bel Air episode when Uncle Phil starts fake playing bad at pool to get Will out of a bad spot. And then tells his butler to, quote, Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah. Who's Pete? <laughs> well, it really meant... Well, it originally meant St. Peter, but... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just like an old saying at this point. I get it. Like, I was just oh, being playful. Carnal. You realize I, I can barely tell when people are jealous... I mean, people are, uh, like, serious or joking. I know, that's what I was telling you. Vera would also be a good name for a Bulbasaur because, you know, plant, aloe vera, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. True. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm pretty sure you get a free potion in your, in your, uh, in your PC. Yeah, in your personal PC. I think that they did that in every generation except for the first, right? Or was it in the first Which is two? weird because it's weird because Kyle would never be this snobbish. I think it's a nice I think it's a funny little juxtaposition. Smell you later. Is that a threat? Just in case. I do love the music. Yeah. Fire Red was actually one of my yep. first games. I love the item interface in this game, have to say. Alright. You know, Francis, I was actually thinking of doing a um, Nuzlocke on my own of a different game. Would you want to participate in that with me? I would absolutely love to. If I'm not mistaken, we have to go get the parcel. Right, right. Have to go to Viridian to get Oak's parcel, then go all the way back. As a reminder, you, you're, you're completely okay to touch the grass. Yeah. Fantastic. 
your first encounter does not begin until you get Pokeballs. Yep. He's got a potion. Oh, that's right. But first, first battle. Mm -hmm. First wild battle, at least. I am totally going to just tackle away and grind away for experience. You know, like pretty much everybody did when they first started the game. They just fought everyone they could. Mm hmm. I remember my first time playing. I sat in the first route until I was level 20. <laughs> I was so worried about being under leveled. Yeah, don't don't blame ya. Do, 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 do. There was something. There was something else we were mentioning about. Um, where else were we before this? Ah, see, this is. Uh. <laughs> this is something you're gonna be dealing with a lot in these playthroughs. <laughs> let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. We're both forgetful. <laughs> Unfortunately, that forgetfulness bounces off of each other. Eh. Autism, am I right? <laughs> and down and out. Oh, I love how it, it does I this. I know. And it only does it in this game. Honestly, Finally, this is my yes. favorite generation for stuff like leveling up and learning TMs and using items and such. Just because of the way that it works. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite things as a kid, I would I, I would save right before I was going to teach something uh, via TM, and oh. I would do it like over and over and over again, you know, save save spamming. And speaking of which, obviously I will be using Pokemon centers, I'm like, I literally just use them, and, and I will be using potions throughout in, in difficult battles. Right. I'm not going to be one of the crazy peoples. You're also not going to be restricting yourself with your buys, right? No restricted buys, buying Pokeballs or items or anything? Oh, no, no, no. I can't remember. Is there a way to grind money in this game? <laughs> Besides basically just using Payday? <laughs> uh, the Versus Seeker. Oh, yeah, this game did have the VS Seeker, huh? Yeah. Ooh, I've got the hiccups. Uh, it's things I know. <laughs> I was gonna flip if that if that last one was going to be like, you know, the. It would have been funny. Okay, so unfortunately, it's about to start soon. You ready? I was born ready. Okay. Science is so amazing. Finally got the Pokedex. Our first five Pokeballs. And each patch of grass, to me, counts as its own area. Or does it? It's each, like, Route 101 is its own area. Oh, okay then. This should tell you I've never done this before, just because I wasn't sure if I had the art for it. So, Route 1 is going to be its own area, Route 2 is its own area. Uh, if there are, like, like in Pallet Town, actually, you can fish in Pallet Town, and technically speaking, when you go on the water to go down to Cinnabar, it, when it swaps over to the route below, it's actually technically a different encounter. So you have an encounter for Pallet Town. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. You're nothing like your brother at all. Also, as far as, um... Your, your first encounter here, you can only encounter Pidgey or Rattata at the same encounter rate. So you have a 50-50 chance of getting either or. Which one are you hoping for? I'm personally hoping for Pidgey. I don't blame you. I am hoping for the same. By the way, can you look up when I'm supposed to get the uh, running shoes? Uh, yes, I've got you. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And, and we 
first encounter. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, oh no. <laughs> we jinxed it. <laughs> An encounter is still an encounter. I'd still catch it. If I don't knock it out. You get them from Oak's assistant after you beat Brock and go to the next route. I knocked it out. Well, that means you lost your encounter for the route, unfortunately. You failed your encounter. <sighs> One route down. Only a gajillion more to go. Technically speaking, you can go left and get your encounter there. He will literally not let you pass unless you do that. So I thought I might well just get out of the way. Before you go forward, you should go back and uh, get your encounter towards Victory Road, but in that one patch of grass before you even hit it. Yeah. Uh, technically speaking, once you get the... Uh, fishing unlocked for you, do you also have an encounter in Viridian City you can do? Ah, oh, yes. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't even need the cut DM for that. Wahaha. <laughs> See, this is Route 22. Different route. That's okay. better, Zoratana. That's a manky. Okay. Right. Careful now. Oof. At this okay. early stage. Oh, that was good. That's not bad at all. That's not bad damage at all. Do not hit it again. Ha <laughs> Huh. You thought. One, two, three. And you yes! got a man key! Woo, 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 woo! I always want to. Male man key. What are you going to name him? Hmm. Pig monkey. Hmm. Monkey pig. Uh, All I can think of is James. Ah ha ha. <laughs> we have a friend. Is <laughs> like, he's the, he's the one we always pick on. Or at he, least, he, at he least. thinks that puppy monkey baby's funny. Or at least that uh, that Aaron and his and his friend always picked on mm -hmm. when they were in when they were in kit when they were in like kindergarten and stuff. Yeah, Aaron and his other mm -hmm. friend, they, they grew up together. Literally they'd known mm -hmm. each other since they were six. Well he and I only met only in college. I mean he and I only met a couple years ago, so Fair. Hmm. And I'm engaged a, to him now, so it's a pig and a monkey. Pig and a monkey. A monkey and a pig. Pig and a monkey. What about Jake? Not a big fan of that show. Uh, <laughs> Tom Kenny! But, a, but not a good show. I wonder. What about Tom? <laughs> what about Kenny? Furious George. <laughs> I thought that was uh, that's good. Mm. Mm. Oh, actually, that is a good one. That, that that's a very good one. You know what? I'm gonna go with it. I was originally gonna name him Quillen. 
but I thought, yeah, that's a little too base. Besides, Krillin wasn't a monkey. Plus, this ties into how I used to name my Pokemon after things I knew as a kid. Like, I named my baby Mudkip Nemo after yeah. the fish from Finding Nemo. I would always tell, though I would always tell everybody I named him after the sea captain. Just because I didn't want anyone to tease me over the fact that I, you know, like cartoons as a kid. Yeah. Tamari, well, and by everybody I mostly mean Tamari, because nobody really bullied me over it other than Tamari and my old man. Ready to go up and get your next encounter? I'm ready to battle Blue, or Kyle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot that there was a rival battle over here. But I do forget, though. Is it this way, or... Nope, it's the other way. Whoops. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Mmm, stop at a whammy. I think there might be hidden items somewhere right here. Or not. Because it's just like, why would they even have that space if nothing was there? You might not be able to get it until you've got the item finder. Some things are locked behind that wall. Uh, they shouldn't be. There's an item you can get in Viridian City only with an item finder. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. You can get the Matra Brace. It is hidden and buried in the spot where the Viridian Gym Leader will, will have stood unearthed with the item finder. Hmm. Weird. Oh, shoot. I am a little underleveled, but I've got Bubble. Which is, in fact, a stab move. Oh my god. What? You're not doing much damage at all. Uh-oh. I think I might have gotten a little over my head. You got only three potions? Uh... Looks like this might be over before it begins. Accuracy's fine. Accuracy's fine. Oh, this this is bad. Of all the times I needed to get a crit. Oh. Oh, you're dead. Good night, Vera. I think this might be over before it even begins. Oh, it, it's over, bro. Well, good news luck, everyone! <laughs> Do you want to restart? Uh, let's, let's just restart the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, well, at least now we know. He's level 9! <laughs> that was my fault. Both of his, both of his Pokemon are level nine. His Pidgey and his starter. All right, Act Two. Vera, you will be remembered. You, Vera, Monkey Fist, you will be avenged. Tap two. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully this time we actually get a Pidgey in Route 1 and at least don't fail it, right? Yeah. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Where's he? You okay, buddy? That. 
Pardon my inner Paul, but that was absolutely pathetic. Well, I call it like I see it. I was pathetic. I thought you were talking about the cat coughing. I was so confused. <laughs> Coof. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This time is going to be different. Are you going to name him Paul? Jeffrey? Yeah. After my old Boy Scout bully. Mm. So yeah, he's not going to be named Potion. after my old friend, but he is going to be named after my old enemy. At least the snark makes sense now. Yeah. He's always a snarky jerk. And got us kicked out of Skymon because of his racist skit. Which, I don't know what it was, and if I did, I wouldn't share it on national television. Or, you know, YouTube. <laughs> and plus, at least this time you can actually hear the music. No, I already got one. Okay. We don't exactly have a recording booth for this. We're just recording this in our house. Not yet, at least. Yeah. We're hoping in the next uh, six months to have a space that we can set up to do recordings and unboxings and all that fun stuff. Rather than just, you know, like, using the kitchen table and right. stuff. Uh, not to go into too much detail, but... We do live with uh, Aaron and one other person, and that other person is starting his own business soon. So he's going to be moving out, going off, doing his own thing, and we are going to convert what would be, you know, currently his bedroom into a studio slash office. Not going to lie, I do kind of wish she was a girl. Yeah. I miss her, I miss her already. I know. Well, I I'm think of a so lucky with getting a girl, too. I didn't even check her nature. Damn. Or monkey fists. It's okay. So what should we name the male squirtle? You want to name him Vero as a no, memento? something that elicits power and dominance and revenge. Hmm. Fredder. Close. Slade. It was a turtle mutant from the original 87 cartoon. Ah. I haven't seen very much Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so you're gonna have to forgive my, uh, ignorance. Well, to be fair, neither have I. such a cutie. Yeah, it's too bad not many people pick him. So what if Scientific American says he's the inferior starter? And yet I... you picked... You're sad that nobody picks him, but yet you did pick him. <laughs> Well, that's because Aaron picks him, and it would be weird to pick the starter that Aaron picked. Yes, but here's the thing. This is a Nuzlocke. Wouldn't it be better in the Nuzlocke to choose the Pokemon that would be most beneficial oh. to the rest of the run? Nice, a crit. You literally can beat half the gyms easy with just, with just Squirtle. I mean, yes, he would have an advantage against Misty, too, but I guess Blaine? By that time, you'll have plenty of water types! I'll admit, the only gym that... By that time, you'll have Gyarados! The only gym that Slash here would not be good in is, is, is Lieutenant Surge. 
And Erica. Look, all I'm saying is Bulbasaur is great against the first two gyms, and holds out pretty well against the rest of them, and that's all I'm saying. Alright. Thanks, Mom. Uh, did, did I ever tell you about uh, how my adventure started out in Hoenn? Or at least how my my Francis, my character's adventures started out in Hoenn? Yeah, how I think Hoenn. we talked about that. Didn't even get to the potion guy. No, but technically it's not your encounter yet since you haven't got the balls yet. But I'm still fighting just because I want to level them up. Absolutely. I'm not letting. I'm not getting. I'm not letting what happened to Vera happen to Slash. In fact, I know there's a there's a daycare center on Four Island. I'm gonna catch a ditto in the Pokemon Mansion. Hopefully, it's your encounter. Ha 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 Get it. Because it's basically like the only thing you can encounter there anyway. Okay, new rule for the poke for the Pokemon Mansion. Each floor is its own area. Okay. I mean, it's your Nuzlocke, dude. You make the rules as you want. I wouldn't waste a potion. What if it gets a crit? It doesn't matter. Your Nuzlocke hasn't started yet. You could just go back and heal. Even if you black out right now, it's still okay because <laughs> you just... Sorry. You ha you're not even started yet until you get the ball. So even if you black out right now, that's fine. Alright. Is growth... I'm gonna let him grow to level 10 and have him learn water gun. But first... To the heal! <laughs> well, yeah, heal. And then the... Then the, um... Parcel. Then the parcel. And then catch... And this time I'll do my best to not knock out the first Pokemon I encounter. Maybe don't use a stab move. Because you are quite a bit of ways, unless you encounter like a level 4 or 5, you are quite a bit of ways above what typically spawns. Yeah. Walking through the tall grass, this is just going to be a neat little shortcut. By the way, did you find out when I get the running shoes again? Yeah, I already told you. Uh, when you beat Brock and you go right to continue on, there's a more Professor Oak's aids that gives you the running shoes. Ah, yes. So then. You know, I must wonder what was the custom Pokeball he had on order? GF Ball. Is that proof? Maybe. This is my theory, personally. Oh, uh, it's better giving it to him than Kurt. True. Ugh. Still salty about that. We did not forget, anime producers. Uh, yes, we get it. You're old and you're using us as your bus boys. And shut up, Jeffrey. Lard bottom. I mean, that guy would literally eat all of all the food that we prepared and not even 
bother to want to even cook anything. Wow. He was uh, not a nice guy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go! Our first encounter is... A Rattata! A level 3 girl Rattata. Another tackle. Well, I think the bub the tackle is what Fang did last time, and Bubble's a you special You Bubble, attack. and then you used... Okay, Bubble is going to have Stab behind it. So it's going to do... It's going to have your same type attack bonus. So in my opinion, I would use... Tackle. Good point. Because water's a special move and its special attack is higher than its attack. Please don't faint. Please don't faint. Please don't faint. You're good. Use the ball. Because the last time that you did it, you used bubble and then tackle. Right. Mm, boom! What are we gonna name this ratty girl? I got it. Miss Frisbee? Uh, from Mrs. Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Mm. They renamed her to Miss Brisbee in Don Bluth's movie to avoid copyright infringement. Even though her name is spelled differently. Gotcha. It's like, it's like in JoJo, a lot of the characters are named after bands and songs mm. and stuff like they changed a st they changed Jay Guile to Centerfold and changed oh yeah I'm playing this on the Game Boy player they changed Enya the Hag to and Yaba changed Steely Dan to Dan of Steel Crazy Diamond became Shining Diamond yeah Bad company became worse company, etc. Gotcha. I mean, the original stands were named after, you know, the tarot cards, and then they started naming them the Assassin stands after Nine of the Gods of Egypt, but once that was over, when Part 4 started, they're just like, hey, you know what, Let, let's just name them after music. Yeah. So you want to head left and go get your, uh, Mankey? First off, let's get this let's get this time sink out of the way. On and then, uh, Route 22, you have three encounters that you can get without rods or surfing. You have Rattata at 45%, Mankey at 45%, and Spiro at 10%. Well, for my sake, I hope I get another Mankey. I really hope you get another Mankey, dude. Mon monkey Fist must be a van, dude. What if it's a girl Mankey? Can you still gonna name it Monkey Fist? Mm, no, I'm gonna name her something else. Uh, I already knew that. So there's that. Also, you I'm. You know what'd be fun now that I'm thinking about it? What? A Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. Well, I'm already doing crystal on my 3DS. Which... Well, I meant, like, for me to do a crystal nuzlocke. Oh, actually, so that would be fun. I haven't really Aaron decided would... what uh, nuzlocke I want to do, what game I want to nuzlocke, and I was thinking maybe uh, Sun and Moon because I can get Rowlet, but I'm not sure. Yeah, sorry if I'm not scrolling through this fast enough. I'm Speaking of 3DS, I'm using mine right now. I, I still do the Sun and Moon Isle of Fun things, because I've already got like tons of items and I'm just <laughs> want more. You 
you know what? Before I get there, I'm gonna save. Yeah. Oh, hold on. And check on my Pokemon stats. A quiet nature and a mild nature. 50130. Haha. <laughs> Cause this was before. This was still before moves had their. Like I'm pretty sure this was before moves were class. Yes, this was before moves were classified as. Before the special physical move split happened yeah. in Gen Four, which that's gonna be fun. That's another thing I could not lock now that I'm thinking about it. I could do Platinum. Yeah, warning, there is a different game file that is already saved. Yes, please. It's, it's only been 14 minutes, but it feels like it's been longer. I know, right? <laughs> It's been, it's technically been 41 minutes since we started the stream, but after that 23 minute long, oh, oh no, 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 whoops. You just saved. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, and if it, oh, you haven't leveled up. That's what I said. If I lose, uh, screw, screw the non-restart rule. If I lose, I'm resetting. Yeah, you kind of, we kind of absentmindedly went up. And at this point, I feel like we should probably just reset now. Because no offense, but a level 7 Squirtle is not going to be able to take down his level 9 Pidgey and his level 9 Bulbasaur. Fair point. Zawardo, Toki wa tomare. Whoops. <laughs> For now, focused on just getting your encounter and then... This is this is definitely baby's first nuzlocke. <laughs> it's okay. People will understand. And also, besides, I later love we can, this. Later I love this. We can come back thing. and laugh at it together. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just stay in this general area. What's gonna be our first encounter? I'm a monkey. Yeah, and it's a male. Monkey fist returns. Too bad you can't fist fit uh, two at the end of monkey fist, huh? Yeah. Just take out the eye and fist and add the two at the end. <laughs> Check in the mail real quick. I just saw the mailman. Alright. I'm gonna be strictly using bubble. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I got still got four Pokeballs left. I think more of my Yu-Gi-Oh deck came in. I'm gonna try another bubble because he just popped out of it. It oh, oof. Okay, don't do anything else. Don't do. Oh my god! <laughs> I almost did it again. <laughs> I've only got three Pokeballs left, but he's in the red. There's one resilient little little tyke. But I got him! Yeah! I'm going back to the Pokemon Center to heal him up. Hey, Francis. Hmm? These are yours. You figure out a way to fit the two. Thanks to tox, thanks to toxic Transformers fans. Truck not monkey my foot. Meow call. Donka Shun. Mm -hmm. And hey, I can actually go. Tra I think I can actually go train in Vir Viridian Forest. You also got a counter an an an, uh, an encounter up there as well. Both in route, both in route two and in Viridian Forest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna 
gotta say, this is very nice. Aside from the rocky first start. Signature encounter is for route two. A PG! There's a PG! Level two, nice. Uh, one tackle. One more tackle and then I'm throwing a ball. Yes. Oh! Oh, that was dangerously close to the red. Okay, use the ball. And once I get my last Pokemon in Viridian Forest, I'm going back to the Pokemon Center. Yes. Well, mm. hold on, don't you have two Pokemon right now that need healed up? I'll go back and heal Only now. Only one. Only this one. Uh, and what am I going to name him? Male Pidgey. Oh, I know what I'm going to name him. Don't mind the ripping. I'm opening mail. <laughs> I didn't name him Homer for, you know, like Homer Simpson. There is this old... Uh, have you ever heard of a guy named Bill Pete before? I don't was, believe so. He was an in-between animator who used to work for Disney... Like, he actually worked for Walt Disney. Knew the man personally. Mm. And st a striving artist who's struck out on his own. I always love these pictures. Love the music here. One of my favorite tracks from this game, honestly. Let's just get the encounter out of the way. And your encounter for Viridian Forest is a Caterpie. Not bad, all things considered. Resilient little level 3 girl, isn't she? Butterfree! Butterfree can use psychic moves, and I do love psychic Pokemon and their moves. One, two... Uh... Okay. I'm out of balls. You unfortunately failed your encounter because you're out of balls. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. You should have gone back, healed, and bought some balls. Well, it's not one of the core rules. Look, I'm bending it just this once. Yeah. So long as you still encounter a Caterpie, at least, right? Caterpies have like a 50, what, a 55% encounter rate? Um, let me look it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back. And also, yes, everything that I'm fighting, I will, everything that I encounter, I will fight. So that's why I'm extra doubly going back and healing and then buying some more Pokeballs. Caterpie has a 40% chance to spawn as well as Weevil. So no, you're, that's... you're giving yourself another opportunity to, for your encounter, but you're keeping it Caterpie, right? Yes. Okay. So that way you're not giving yourself a second encounter, you're just giving yourself a second chance at your encounter for the rest. Now... Yes, please. A lot of my Yu-Gi-Oh deck just came in. <laughs> Why not? I've never nearly bankrupted myself on items before, but this is a special occasion. It really is. Did you check if there's any more items to get in Viridian City? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the only one is the one where uh, the gym leader would be standing, but that's only with an item finder. Oh, there's my phone. There's my phone. Yeah, unfortunately, the Montreal Brace is 
only unearthed with the item finder, and the only other item is er TM-26 Earthquake, which is gotten by defeating the Verdian City Gym Leader, so... Come on, Caterpie. You've got to be- Really? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. That has a 5% chance of being your encounter. 5%. Compared to Caterpie and Meta- You know what? Why did I say Meta a lot? Caterpie and Weedles, 40%. You know what? This is my Nuzlocke. My rules. If you're choosing to have Pikachu as your encounter? Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Ooh. Gonna have to swap out. That really didn't do much. Just look. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> please move. Please, please, monkey fist, you can move. Oh. Alright, one more scratch. I'm gonna try one more scratch. No, monkey fist, don't die. Two, three. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, everyone's getting healed. I'm going back to the Pokemon Center. Right. As for you, what am I going to be naming you, you little rule breaker? You're the rule breaker? You broke the rules for her. Ashley. Better yet. <laughs> One of my favorite female Batman villains. Alright, everybody, we're going back to the Pokemon Center. Pikachu is my capture in Viridian Forest. And that's the way it is. If you have a problem with it, then go watch somebody else's Nuzlocke. Watch my Nuzlocke. <laughs> hey, at least I'm actually trying to be entertaining. True. And I'm doing this because I love Pokemon, not because I'm trying to be a pretentious know-it-all. Alright. Now for some training. Time for some Viridian Forest grinding before I re-challenge Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Let's check everyone's stats. You should also save. A quiet nature, a manky most certainly sometimes does not. Mm. You've got a naughty Pikachu. Well, that does mean it's going to have a lot better uh, special attack. No, wait. Naughty is higher special attack and lower is special defense. Mm. Which is what Ash's event Pikachu's most often are. Mm. I forget what a quiet nature means, though. If I'm not mistaken, uh, quiet actually doesn't give any benefit. 
but I could be wrong on that. It's hard to remember what all the natures do. I've got it right here. Quiet raises special attack, but decreases speed. And in a Pidgey, that speed isn't really that bad because with, with the flying type, it naturally has a lot of speed. With, with a Squirtle, that's actually really good because, you know, they're not really supposed to be fast. They're slow turtles. Right. Mild is high special attack but low defense. And yeah, Naughty is high attack, low special defense. But on a Pidgey? Mm. Yeah. Could be worse. The Quiet's not that bad on a Pidgey, like I said, because Pidgey naturally, with the flying type move, has higher uh, speed. So a little bit of speed loss isn't really that bad. Yeah. Man, I almost forgot how long and tedious these old saves were. Mm hmm. God, don't even get me started on Gen 4 saves. How long those took. Saving, Saving a, a lot, lot of data. data. Don't turn off the power. <laughs> I'm going to try and get at least one attack in, and then swap out. You know, I'm just, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna get another tackle in. And then swap out. Or run away. Okay. Did you accidentally run away? Yes. I meant to switch to I meant to switch to another Pokemon, but I mean at least you didn't run away from an encounter. True. That would have sucked. Oh finally there you are. Mm-hmm. We were looking for you and now you're too late. In fact, how about you face your replacement? You little You Gr you s green worm, you! Yeah, 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 really, 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 real intimidating, I know. <laughs> You're so great at insults. Perfect. Shoot. Caterp- I forgot how that Caterp- that little- these little bug Pokemon have, like, pitiful special defense. Mm-hmm. And just pitiful defense in gen general. Excuse me. No love for the bug, bug Pokemon until later gens. I wonder. And you're not wrong there, kiddo. You never have too many Pokeballs. I was afraid that, that was going to be like a trainer encounter, but uh, no such luck. No, but here soon you should have one. Alright, I need to take this a lot more seriously. Homer's down to like 7 out of 19 hit points. No more battling for you, mister, until you're at least level 6. Put dead! No buts, you're only <laughs> level 2! Oh, please feel free to do some more commentary. I age. Otherwise, this would be a very boring Nuzlocke. <laughs> no. I've already made my catch. Slash him up, buddy. Hopefully we won't get poisoned. In fact, just for that. Oh shoot! Oh poison! No, 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 no! He used po he used poison sting. She used poison sting, but thankfully it did nothing. Hey, hopefully this will do nothing. And it did something. Oh, you have to jinx it! I'm an awful jinx. <laughs> not as awful as the original. Ah, let's not talk about why that was bad. 
let's not and say we didn't. Alright. What's this hell that right now? I don't know. Eleven. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna have to wait till it gets to three. How many does it do every tick? One. So it should be at eight right now? Okay. Seven, six, five. Why did I go back? Hey, heal. <laughs> now heal. Yes, yes, nice whooshy whooshy effects. Now let's get down to the Pokemon Center. Three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. Thank goodness. From now on, I'm just buying potions. I got all the Pokeballs I need. Yeah, there's my catch from... You, you, you can easily tell what it is, because it tells you where you caught him. Mm -hmm. Pallet Town, Viridian Forest. Route 1, Route 2, and Route 22. I'm still putting home run front, though. Well, yeah, it's not like we have the EXP share. I'm gonna grind out here just to be safe. It'd be easier to go down from here, yeah. Yeah. Plus, wouldn't have to worry about running into no more, uh... Level 5s and 7s and such? Yeah. Or most, most especially, wouldn't have to worry about Weedles in... Right. in, 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 in in Viridian Forest. Besides, if it's a Pidgey, Livewire could just Thundershock it in one hit. Yay, Homer! Oh, my mistake. Live... Uh, Livewire isn't a Batman villain, she's a Superman villain. She was a former radio call-in host that was struck by a bolt of lightning and turned her into a being of pure energy, like she can go through electrical wires and stuff. Wow. I remember because there was this, uh, Hershey Rhesus family sampler disc, like, have you ever had one of those old, like, game trial discs that came in, uh, like, Cereal boxes and stuff. The one that I had was, uh, a, um, I think it was Pizza Hut promotion. Back when they first introduced their, their quote, New York style pizza. Oh, I yeah. had the blue one and the green one. The blue one and the green one what? The PS1 discs. Oh. They had, like, Final Fantasy VIII, Crash Team Racing. Oh, right, right, right. Spyro, all sorts that of was, stuff. You know, fun fact, that was, that was, guess who was the... Head of marketing of, of, of Pizza Hut at the time. Hmm? Reggie Fisa Me. Mm. That was his first exposure to the world of video games. Because he was in a lot of companies before he joined up with Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, but this this uh, Hershey, Hershey Reese's Family Sampler Disc... I don't know where a lot of my old CDs are, but this this thing had like everything, and a little sample of everything on it. It had like a sample of Jumpstart learning games. Had an example of the Blaster learning system I used to remember way back when. Both the original Davison version and the Knowledge Adventure version they did to tie into the 
Blasters Universe cartoon that they put on like uh, on on the CBS Kids show way back when. Yeah. One of my definite favorites was the Animaniacs Game Pack preview, and the uh, 3D Ultra Pinball and 3D Ultra Mini Golf. I wonder if it might be easier if you grind down in Route One, like quicker, I guess, because it's less t less uh, travel time between the Pokemon Center and the grass. Maybe a little bit. I will be right back. I'm gonna go put all these cards up. All right. I think I've got most of my deck. I'm just missing some stuff from my extra All right, deck. Homer. Good for you. All 24 experience points goes to you, and you're now level four. Homer's Ready? first kill. Absolutely ruthless. Yeah, just tackle, 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 tackle. Good boy. Fly, Homer, fly. That's what I was trying to say. Ooh, nice crit. So my, my, my idea is I'm going to start with the lowest level Pokemon I have and raise it to be a level 10. Or 11 if I can. I'm raising, I'm going to raise Homer to level 12 because I think at that level, he'll know... Some good move. <laughs> oh, yeah. Learns Quick Attack at level 13. Now he learns Sand Attack. He's not going to learn Gust until level 9, though. Emergency switch out! I leave for a minute and you've already got Homer dying? I'm just lucky that Rattata didn't do a crit. Oh, what I was trying to say was I named Homer after Fly Homer Fly, which was a book written and illustrated by that former Disney animator, Bill Peet. Mm. And that on that Interactive Family Sampler disc was... Um... All right, level eight. Uh, something I'm trying to remember. You know, you would not be wrong. It actually would be a lot easier to do it on Route 1. I or, feel like it's a shorter distance. Or heck, on Route 22. Maybe. <sighs> oh, yes! Why, why I'm telling you how I know about Livewire, because one of the uh, one of the demos on that Hershey Reese's Family Sampler disc was of this little game collection called the Superman Activity Center, which was basically a bunch of skill building activity puzzles, oh. and one of them was 
unscrambling Lois Lane's hard drive by doing like a crossword. Mm. To help uns unscramble the files of her computer after her hard drive crashed, which would basically, like, basically, you filled in crosswords, and then once you filled in all the crosswords, the jumbled up message would clear up into a full article about a certain character and the picture would change from a heavily corrupted pixelization into the full art of that character. There were only three there were only three arts though. A Brainiac, Clark Kent, and Livewire. Mm. And the other there were only two games playable. The other game was like having Superman in a space suit and oh that stinks. Eh. It worse could be worse. Could be a whole herd of them. True. Thank goodness we didn't have to go through what Ash and Pikachu did in episode one. True. Like I said, the other one was basically doing a connect the dots with Superman's space robot with it was teaching you about the constellations mm. like Pisces, Aries, etc. etc. And you could adjust the difficulty so it could be either like something simple for five-year-olds or something in the middle for like seven-year-olds or something super complex for ten-year-olds. Yeah. Like, originally these uh, Lois Lane's passwords could only go like, they could go up, down, or sideways. But with on level two, that they could go up, down, sideways, or diagonally, and with and on level three, go up, down, sideways, diagonally, and backwards. I figured they'd throw backwards in with the third level. Like it could, they, the, those words could literally come in from any direction. By the way, just so you, I've told the I've told the audience this, but just so you know, I'm getting Homer to level 13, so he'll learn Quick Attack. Okay. And he'll also learn Gus at that point. You're gonna level up the rest of your Pokemon, though, too, right? Of course, but I'm, but I'm focusing on the lowest level I've got right now. Well, that definitely ain't Homer anymore. I honestly lost track of how many Pokemon he's taken out. He's just a ruthless killing machine. <laughs> Which is funny because in the book that home, because in the book I based him off of Homer was just like a a simple hermit pigeon minding his own business in a farmhouse until this sparrow comes along and tries to show him the ritzy big city life. Mm. And the instant a Pokemon dips below... I don't know. I said the instant a Pokemon dips below half their health, I take them to the Pokemon Center, but I do not know why the, uh... I'm using a GameCube controller, and I don't know why I decided to just go back up again. Could be a problem with the game... Uh, the controller's, uh... Stick. I wasn't stick using... I wasn't even control. using the stick. I was using, a. Hey everyone, sorry about that technical difficulty. Uh, the default for the library on my Elgato was set to my internal hard drive, which didn't, which only had like 20 gigs left on it, and not set to my external hard drive. But literally all that happened was after I finished that battle, I just went over to the Pokemon Center, healed up, and got back here. Yep. So, like I said, back to grinding hmm I said I was gonna swap out Homer for Miss Brisby I said there was a problem with the d-pad well, there might be a problem with the d-pad wait what am I doing it's a fighting type hey just use Gus bro kill it that's what I, that's what I said to myself 
Why am I using normal type move when I could be using a flying type move, which you is can effective? Just mark the man key. Alright. Alright, Frisbee. Oh, look at that. The very next one. I don't know why I went I went to bag. Probably because uh, all the, the all the new interfaces are just messing with my sense of muscle memory. Maybe. Wait, what am I doing? I mean, in all honesty, I think this kind of defeats the purpose of Pokemon, but it's a nice little self-imposed challenge. And it's not like I'm gonna leave him dead. Just yeah. Put him in a dead box. And plus... This is all for the sake of forming deep and meaningful bonds with my Pokemon. Not in challenging yourself to play the game with a challenge, simply put. Yeah, not like the new Pokemon games know the meaning of the word challenge. Uh, Especially so. The hand holding is real. Strong with these ones. Thou art becoming quite strong, Sir Homer. And Miss Frisbee. Now, if only I could get... Now, if only Slash needs to be at uh, level... What's it? Level 9. Let's try... Ooh, fast. You can get it. Booyah! Good for you, Mrs. F. Woo! Ooh, that was so much experience. Mmm, nice and juicy. This, however, is going to be a different story. I forget when does when do they when do, when does he start running any fighting type moves? I will look it up. Thank you, because I should be the one focusing on you know actually battling and stuff. It's technically Gen two, right? Gen three. Is this is Gen three. Yes. Level 9. He learns low kick at level 9. Is someone sneezing? Yeah, Bruce is coughing. Um, oh, we had to get him some hairball stuff recently because he's got some hairball troubles. Oh, and he's due for boy. a dose. Poor boy. He'll be alright. That's why we got the hairball treatment. All of that are other roommates home. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Ah. Just in case he strikes up a conversation. I'll just let him know when he gets in the door that we're doing a recording. Uh-oh. Swap. Okay. Hey bud, we're recording a nice lot. Okay. You don't fit me in the No, not at all. Just keep it PG. Keeping it real and keeping it PG. Which is eight. I was, I was going to 
Let's put some fish in, in the oven to go on in it. Sure. Oh, fish sounds great. How many uh, comes in here? Uh, typically nine, right? Huh? The bag of fish. Oh, that one's actually got, I think, 26 in it. Okay, then there you go. There's plenty. Slash needs some love. Slash does need some love. You've been neglecting him. And I feel so sorry. I've just been so focused on getting everyone else up to their po possible maximum potential. Slash was literally... I literally gave him the name Slash so he could get revenge against... Against Vera. Revenge for Vera. Mm -hmm. My poor Vera. I will bring you... I will find a way to bring you back. I promise. I don't remember what your nature was, but I'm sure it was good. Same with you, OG Monkey Fist. We'll just use the ditto and breed for a female Vera. It's fine. Yeah. Because once the Nuzlocke's over, you can do whatever you want with the save. You don't have to uh, keep restricting yourself. You can go back and catch everything, and do everything that you want to do. I know she's level 5 now, but I'm not taking any chances. I don't blame you. You haven't even gone back and healed. How many uh, sandwiches did y'all want? Um, I mean, I'm good with just two. What about you, Amy? Need help, bud? <laughs> Healing. At this rate, it's gonna get me, take me like two hours to get to Brock. <sighs> but at least it's fun. That's true. I mean, I'm enjoying spending this time with you. Yeah, you we go. don't do enough. Also, how many did it say on it? Mm -hmm. 22 or 26? 26. Ah, yes, I was right the first time. I love it when I'm right. So... Let me put... Uh, Three for him, two for me, and then however many you want. I use two, right. I use two blades per sandwich. What is Rattata's move set for Gen 3? I will look it up. Thank you. Quick attack at 7, hyper fang at 13. And then focus energy at 20, but it also evolves at level 20. Well, I have to say, Mrs. Frisbee having an actual quiet nature does make sense for the her character in the movie and in the book. You got your math all sorted, bro? Yes. I want to clarify, I only want two fish fillets. I don't want two sandwiches worth of fish fillets. I only want two fish fillets. So I don't need wow. four fish fillets, I only need two. Nice crit there, Mrs. F. Two fillets for you. Two fillets for me. And to clarify, Francis, you wanted three fillets, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, then I okay. <laughs> PG, bro, PG. Well, let's see. They, they likely can't hear him. Uh, we can hope. I will insert you after the end of I'm not taking any chances. Try to move the ground. He'll never move it like that. You gotta get under. Hey, that's it. Good for you, Monkey Fist, too.
Pardon the little interruption in the background. <laughs> Our roommate got home and he is sorting out food for us. Because he is a nice roommate. Yes, a very nice roommate indeed. Come on, Slash. Let's get you up to level 9 and... Uh, is it level 9 or level 10 where he learns a uh, uh, water gun? Slash? Um... I guess I will look it up. Give me one second. Thank you. Take your time, please. Yes. It is level 13 when he learns water gun. He learns withdrawal at 10. Oof. I would stick with bubble for now and just keep it at level 9. And then obviously as you go through Viridian Forest, level up to beat Brock. Hey Avery, how long did you, what degrees did you put this on? One. You focus on the run. Hold on. You focus on the run. I'll help him out. Or not. You help him. Focus on the run, and I will help. What degree to cook it up? And now Homer's at level 10. Yeah! Homer is now my strongest Pokemon. Oh, that makes very little sense. I straight up had Mrs. Frisbee at level 6. And swapped him out for... Oh. A level 5. Whoops. Ah, uh, that has the speed, doesn't it? Yes. But another Thundershock's not gonna kill. But it is paralyzed, so we can't move. Tackle. Huh. You missed. Alright, after this, Totes go to the Pokemon Center. If the D-pad will stop. This is a very small D-pad, I know. And a very old one, it's on an OG GameCube controller. Yeah. But seriously, Route 22 is great for early grinding. Mm -hmm. Just as long as you don't bump up into blue. Yeah. Speaking of, it's been a minute since you healed. I would heal. Or not heal. Uh, save. Once I get back out there, I'm gonna save. And just so we all remember, I have caught a Pokemon in this area. You have all of the encounters you can currently get without continuing on to Pewter. Unfortunately, you don't really have access to Surf and you don't have access to any rods, so you can't get any city encounters. Yep. There is a, a bunch of potions and a couple antidotes in Verdian Forest, though, so. Yeah. You know, free items. Yay, level seven! Quick attack! And there's quick attack. You know what? I'm gonna swap out Miss Frisbee for Monkey Fist 2. Tackle. 
time for a mirror match. And then thankfully at level 9, which is what we're trying to get Monkey Fist to anyway, he will learn Lower Kick. Mm -hmm. Oh my Shit. god! <gasps> Holy sh... Rim Baskets, that was close! Good god. Sweet mother of Arceus. That just goes to show how quickly you can get taken down by something. That was like a high roll crit. Jesus. How the, the this these nuzlocks ain't no joke. You should prob prob uh, probably. You should probably spare out on going to Homer and go to somebody else instead, like Slash. So, because I know that Homer does super effective, but Slash and everybody else, they still need experience too. Oh yes. And the starter's the one most players level up, level up the highest first. Come on, it's your starter. Do you want to swap chairs and sit on the couch, bud? No, I'm good. Okay. But thank you. No worries. Well, that was a nice crit. That was a nice double crit. <laughs> you think these double crits are bad? Fire Emblem's even worse. Because they have a lower possibility of rolling, but they have a beautiful effect when you see it happening. You can sometimes see them flourish their weapons and then... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean, you've seen Mark's final smash. That's basically what it's like. They, mm. they like, give their lance sword axe or whatever a little twirl and then, like, boom, 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 of the, the sweet, delicious sound of your opponent's HP rapidly dropping to zero. Or in Smash's case, their percentage going up ridiculously. Yeah, it goes up by 60%, but then the effect adds, like, their hit points rapidly mm. dropping to zero, just to give it that little extra Fire Emblem immersive feel. Now remind me again, what's Blue's first Pokemon that he sends out against you? Pidgey. Right. It's a level 9 Pidgey. Well then in that case, as soon as I'm done leveling up Monkey Fist, I'll level up Livewire. Yeah. What can Pikachu learn near level 9? Uh, I think Thunder Wave, if I'm not mistaken. Let me... Look up Pikachu's moveset. Yeah, at level 8 he learns Thunder Wave, and at level 11 he learns Quick Attack. I'll leave her learning quick attack till like we get to near Brock. <laughs> oh my god! Potion, potion, potion! Oh, it's alive. Oh. To the Pokemon Center. Like to the Pokemon Center. To the center, to the center, to the ten turn. Good now! Thankfully, you're out of battle. 
because that was almost bad. By the way, roommate, feel free to contribute to the conversations. Just keep it PG. I think that's why he's not contributing. <laughs> mm. Fair. I'm having trouble censoring my swear words. I can imagine how hard it is for him. I would like to say it's easy for me, but honestly, it's becoming harder every day. <laughs> Aaron and I keep corrupting you. <laughs> Well, well, as Stumper said, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Don't say nothing at all. Yay, level six! Yay, low kick! Alright, now that he's learned low kick, I'm swapping him out with Pikachu with Livewire. Thankfully, um, Mankey, when it gets to level 11, will learn Karate Job. So that's pretty nice. Heck yeah, it's nice. Do you know the crit rate that thing has? Ridiculous. And down and out. All the way up to level 6. Tail Whip. Yep. Of course, it won't do anything against Thundershock because Electric type moves are special moves, and eh. even after the and even after the split, Thundershock is still a special move. Eh. How about that? Zzzt. Zap. I, I see, see you. you. Zap. I see you. Zap. Well, the, th the clever thing I've learned is you can just face different directions in the same patch of grass and it'll still mm -hmm. have a possibility of an encounter. Yeah, that's how you get around the step limit in the safari zone. Yeah, I learned that trick uh, quite a while ago. Zap. All this is now reminding me of that one episode of Dave the Barbarian, Barbarian. when uh, uh, Ned Frischman working in that pants factory, mm. and his zipper gets him, and I pull here, struck by a meteor, then uh, doused in mysterious chemicals, Zapped by an experimental laser, struck by the power of the Norse gods, bitten by a radioactive grasshopper, and taught the arcane ability of how to cloud men's minds by an inscrutable monk. Wow, that hardly ever happens. It just gets hit with every super empowering cliche in the book. His zipper? Because his zipper then lets him unzip portals to travel through time. What? It was a very weird show. And yet it, it was... It sure sounds like it. And Ned Frischman was voiced by uh, 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 the guy who was uh, Invader Zim and Billy mm -hmm. and Alpha 5. Uh, Richard Stephen Horvitz. He also voices a character in Hell of a Boss. Oh, so we, so we do. <laughs> That's a bit more vulgar. If you want to hear him cousin people out of being an imp, then go watch that. <laughs> oh, finally, a flying Pokemon. Zap! Fried chicken.
You know you don't have to be out here, man. He's waiting on the chicken. I mean fish. <laughs> He's also watching you play, so... Well, I'm very thankful that you're watching me play. Unfortunately, I don't think of a whole, much of a whole lot is happening. I say this as bragging. Livewire gets to level 7. Oh, fire red. I also never understood for the life of me as a kid why it was fire red and leaf green, not like fire red and aqua blue. Mm. But that's because I learned that technically blue was not the first game. Because technically red and green mm -hmm. were the first games, but they were only released in Japan in 1996. That's why everyone says 1996 is the true beginning of Pokemon. February 21st, 1996. My sister's birthday. It's crazy how many February birthdays I know. <laughs> my sister, my mom, my stepdad, my grandpa, your sister... Aaron. So many February birthdays. Plus more step counts means your Pokemon will get uh, closer to you. True. Why do birds suddenly appear? Nice crit. Here rock live wire. Go heal up. All right. After this, after this encounter, I will go heal up. Zap. Nice. All right. Alright, Slash, you're up. Oh, Slash is real close to level 9, too. That's why I selected him. Is what I would like to say, but honestly, I had no clue. <laughs> I wish I had the, like, I wish I knew what I did with that thing that I could connect it to the GameCube and it would turn the Game Boy into a GameCube remote. It would only, it would only work with the Game Boy player. And, you know, a couple other things, too. He's under my dress! You crazy cat. <laughs> Well, it's not far from the original from the original Japanese Pokemon opening where they said that Pokemon were lurking <laughs> in the grass, in the sky, in the under water, that girl's skirt. under that girl's skirt. <laughs> Good gravy, Japanese people. Oh my god! <laughs> How fitting. I'm gonna like bunch this up so he can't get under there again. Wow, one hour and twenty-four minutes. Has it really been that long already? Wow. Well, let's be fair, uh, 24 extra minutes were spent with- We don't talk about run one, okay? <laughs> I will only talk about run one in the sense that I knew what it meant to suffer sheer agonizing defeat and irreparable loss. I mean, hey- it may not be Vera, and it may not be the, the original, original Monkey Fist, 
but at least this time you have that extra encounter, even if it was just a Rattata. Yes. You still got a Pidgey, so... Come on, Thundershock it already. Ha! That's what you get, son. Zap. Zap, zap. Yay! Yay! That'll be good for future catches. True. Unless it's a ground type. <laughs> uh, true. <laughs> so basically, it's going to be useless and not <laughs> Unless you get the Zubat, but even still. Question. Now, that, of course, that leaves the bigger question. Uh, which fossil Pokemon am I going to get? Oh, uh, that is a choice. I mean, personally, I would probably say Aerodactyl. Well, I mean, it's a choice between Kabuto or Ammonite. Aerodactyls, you get no matter what. Oh, yeah. It's been a hot minute since I've played Fire Red. Between Kabuto and Ammonite, though... For aesthetic purposes, I say Kabuto because I like how Kabuto looks, but for meme purposes and just a general better all move set, in my opinion, I would go with Ammonite. Yeah, good point. Hmm. That is a fairly big crit. Oh no, not Leer. Zap. Thundershock. Uh. Who are you gonna get tonight next? Hmm. Well, technically, I never got Miss Frisbee to level nine or Monkey Fist. Yeah, so between those two, who are you going to get next? I'll get Monkey Fist to level 9 next. Also, it's kind of funny that one is level 6 and one is level 7, but they both have 22 HP. Like, exactly. Uh, stat spreading. Mm -hmm. Across different species. good time to wrap up after you beat Jeffrey. Oh yeah, after I beat Jeffrey, I'm like, that's gonna be it for the day. Because that's a pretty good episode one. Pretty oh, yeah. solid long episode to get the series started. Wouldn't mind doing this again tomorrow. Or sure. Saturday day. To zap. Zap. That's what you g g g g g g g g get. Down and out. If I beat, I think if I beat like three more Pokemon.
she'll be level 9 at last. And honestly, I think if I get her up to level 9, I think I'm safely enough to challenge Jeffrey because Pidgey. Because my Pidgey, mm -hmm. uh, Homer, is a level higher than his Bulbasaur. Your Livewire can take out the uh, Pidgey pretty easily, and then your your Homer can take out Bulbasaur pretty easily. So with those two alone, you should be pretty good, actually. Yeah. So once you get live wire to level nine, I would go heal up and then save and then right before you uh -huh. get the encounter with uh, Jeffrey. I keep wanting to call him Blue. <laughs> yeah, I do too. All right, cool. Time to beat the ish out of Jeffrey. But first healing, and then beat Jeffrey, and then lunch or dinner. Dinner. It's late enough, it can be dinner. You can make some mashed potatoes or something to go with the fish. Mm. Or maybe those fries. Some fries for you. And see if uh, roommate wants any. Nothing says... Good times like fish and chips. Why? We're not British! They're fries! You're right, what have I become? I've become a Tiaboo just like my old man. I hate I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> he came up with that term, not That's the internet horrible. came up with the term, not me. <laughs> right. Okay. He's gonna lead with a Pidgey. He's gonna lead with Pidgey, and I'm gonna leave with, lead with Livewire, and then when he goes into Bulbasaur, I go in with Homer. You're about to find out, buggity buggity boy. I contemplated doing thunder, sh thunder wave just to. Wow! Honestly, just hit another thunder shock and just nuke it. Kazap! Zap! <laughs> Fried chicken. Mmm, <laughs> tasty experience. Mm. Oh no, not Bulbasaur! No offense, Aaron, if you're watching. I mean, bro, I like Bulbasaur too. That's what I chose for my And uh, Yes! And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that almost level 11 off of that! <laughs> I didn't just luck out. I ground for nearly an hour, man. Hard work and dedication. Screw you, Jeffrey. You should quit dawdling. You should quit being a little jerk. <laughs> little d -d twerp, you is. But still, just wait till friend. Just wait, friends. We're almost there. We're on our way. We're not almost there, but we are on our way. On the way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. And I'm not saying anymore because of copyright infringement. They they, they will... Oh, did you hear that? The Pokemon crying. Mm -hmm. I just love that about the Gen 3 games. Yeah. I like that they kind of expanded on it in uh, the later games and made like the shadows pop up too. With the cry and like the grass rustling and all that. And now in Galar, the Pokemon are just popped out in an open world. Yeah. So what if it's low res graphics? 
Alright, let's get to Viridian Forest, save and stop. You wanna hear something funny about uh, Galar, specifically the games? Do tell. So, technically speaking, there are overworld sprites for every single Pokemon that they have access to in that game. And some that even they don't have. So Weep. if you were to do, say, an extreme randomizer, or even just a regular randomizer, you would find that all of the Pokemon that you see in the overworld all have sprites. It's kind of funny. And well, technically in this, in this day and age it wouldn't be sprites, it'd be models. That's fair. And now is a great time to save and stop. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully we'll get more done next time in a much more professional manner. <laughs> we stay in our low-class home. This is Francis and Ziavania logging off. Bye! Until next time.